This recipe came from my mom, and she has passed it on down, and uh, she made every Thanksgiving, every Christmas for us, and once or twice during the other. This is my mom's rolling pin, Brooke. I need about two cups. Just have it right now. start with a glass of wine, Brooke. Mmm. Shiraz. It's good. Okay, um, I have two pounds of meat in here, and I'm going to be putting in one medium-sized red onion, all chopped up, and heavy whipping cream, cover all the onions so it doesn't smell, make your eyes water, almost poured all of that in, I'll test it and see, uh, black pepper, a good, good teaspoonful, maybe a little more. Salt, that was a good teaspoonful and another good teaspoonful. Approximately two cups of breadcrumbs um, and you want to use the extra sourdough bread. Get that in. And two eggs. Make sure you get no eggshells in there. And I didn't. And now for the fun part. Take off rings that come off easily. Hands are really clean. And you start mixing. We are going to make smaller meatballs, about this size, roll them up, and then we're going to be baking these in the oven at about 325 for about, well, you know what, you just get them all brown but you have to turn them also while they're cooking so that they stay round. Meatballs have been in there just about 15, 20 minutes, and I turned them over one time in between. And they are ready to be put into the pan. And you put, just put them into a, a big pot, and you get all the drippings. Okay, we've got the meatballs in the big pan. We're going to turn that up 
to about medium high. I'm going to add in some stock. You know, normally I use uh, the uh, Weiler's Cube beef stock. You want to use beef stock, but um, they don't have Weilers anymore. So I decided to go with uh, some Swansons here, and then I had a couple of the Weiler cubes left. But you're going to want to fill this right up, cover the meatballs with the water. Got the cubes there, and then right about there. I'm just going to let this come to a real slow boil. We're going to test it also to see about the flavor. Make sure that flavor is right. And then I'll be adding in the flour and water from my little cup here. My little shaker cup. <laughs> and then um, we'll probably add in probably about three of these with, uh, you know, about two heaping tablespoons of flour with the water up to about right here. Okay, now this cup, my little shaker, came from my mom also. So not only did I use a rolling pin to roll out the breadcrumbs, but uh, this cup right here also came from my mom. Okay, now it's starting to thicken up just a little bit. And I think I want it just a little bit thicker. And that's why I'm saying about three of these with the two heaping tablespoons in each one. Oh yes. This one is totally getting a gravy consistency. Beautiful. Oh, perfect consistency. And the most important thing about all of this is this comes actually comes from the Mickelson family and it has always been made with a lot of love. Now I'm going to taste it because it's beautiful. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I love you, Brookie. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>